Good morning. Today is May 9th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today, we celebrate the Ascension of our Lord. It comes 40 days after Easter. Uh, if you remember uh, in your uh, kind of biblical calendar, 40 is a really big number. How many days did it, uh, and nights did it rain with Noah and the ark? 40. Um, how many years did the children of Israel wander in the wilderness? 40. Uh, how many days was Jesus tempted in the wilderness? 40. How many days between Easter and the Ascension? 40. Sometimes when you look at um, biblical 40s, it's not always an actual 40, but 40 is a number of completeness. Anytime you see that, it might literally mean 40 days, but sometimes it just means that 40 is a long, complete period of time. But we um, traditionally celebrate the Ascension 40 days after Easter. So it always falls on a Thursday. And uh, our scripture comes from the 24th chapter of Luke. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their mind to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. And today we'll uh, pray the prayer of the day for the ascension. Let us pray. Almighty God, your only Son was taken into the heavens and in your presence intercedes for us. Receive us and our prayers for all the world. And in the end, bring everything into your glory through Jesus Christ, our sovereign and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.